I'm Barbara Bromley for the WZBN Garden Report. There are right times to do a lot of the pruning. We've had a fairly early spring this year, so some of your plants may already be in need of pruning. And we're going to cut into this rose, even though it's still March, because we already have new growth on it. This is a knockout rose, and it doesn't have too many problems. As a matter of fact, it's one of the only roses I tend to ever grow. But what I will do is look for any darkening or discoloration along the stems, which may be disease or winter burn, and I'm going to cut off below that injury. And what will happen, it will stimulate all of this new growth to come out and make the plant bushier. So right now, this plant is at approximately five feet tall, I'm going to cut this stem off by about two and a half feet so that I will have a shorter, bushier plant. There are different kinds of roses, all with different kinds of problems, but there is an insect called a cane borer that when there's a fresh surface like this can get in and lay an egg. The way to prevent this from happening is either to cover this cut surface with melted paraffin or just put a thumbtack over it so that it is no longer an open surface. Many of you have weeds in your lawn and you're wondering if you can control them. Certainly you can. But one thing you can do is just pull them out, especially with a weed like this one. This weed is called hairy bittercress. What makes hairy bittercress so interesting is that it's a winter annual. It actually germinated last fall, September, October. And the little plant sat there all winter. This past winter, it actually was even growing a little bit. But by the time we get to spring, it has the white flowers on the stems and these little pods with lots of seeds in them. If you don't get these plants out, they will have shot all the seeds all over the place. The seeds will sit there and wait until the conditions are right again. It can germinate in the summer, but generally does in about fall. And then you'll have more plants, more and more and more. One of the things about this weed, 10 years ago, I'd never even heard of it. Now it seems to be taking over everywhere. Flower gardens, beds, lawns, any place. So how are you going to get rid of it? This time of year, your best bet is just to pull it out. You can spray it with the broadleaf weed killers, but chances are really good that it will have already set seed. And you're going to have the new plants anyway. So if the plant is dead, but it's already set seed, you've defeated the whole purpose. And this one plant can set thousands of seeds. Some of you have already heard of the New Jersey fertilizer law that was passed in January of 2011. Some of you haven't. But what it essentially means is you cannot fertilize your lawn before the 1st of March. Well, we're past that, not a problem. If you have hired someone to fertilize your lawn for you, they have to have a very special license just for people who apply fertilizer. It does not apply to the people who apply pesticides, weed killers, insecticides, fungicides. They need a separate license for that. If you need more information about the New Jersey Fertilizer Law, you can go on the internet if you want, take your favorite search engine, type in New Jersey Fertilizer Law Quick Facts, and it will give you a lot of the abbreviated information that you need to know. That's this week's Garden Report. I'll see you back here next week.